Good evening, beekeeper. We'll be getting to roots of Pacha. What you're seeing right now is Minecraft. Obviously, in some ways, um, it's um the advanced rocketry mod in Minecraft 1.12 using the Circumluna space station as my uh, backdrop for a little while. This is the current status of the station. The solar power area is in place and distributed storage system, uh, fueling uh, system all running, crops growing in one place. Yeah. We need to be. Let's see, let us do the thing on Steam. <coughs> hmm. Ta-da. Last week, two achievements, two achievements last week, um, a little bragging here, we've been working toward it, I mean, we are, 
Last week was episode 30. This is episode 31 of Roots of Pancha. Where we're starting a whole new era at this point. We've got the Explore the Lessons achievement, having fully raised the pyramid and unlocked the ending of the big story and proven to the Mograni and the Yakuans that they were once the same people. And it all came from an argument over succession between the two potential heirs of, of the chief. And this is one reason why dynasties are a bad thing, but <clears throat> we won't look too hard at our own clan structure for the Pachins, you know. Although that's, we've got to get that sorted. There's a storyline there with uh, with Nock and um, oh lordy, that her and that whole family. We, get it. we also got the culinary innovator. It's a you know the the cook all the dishes, cook all the things. I'm a little dubious about that one as um hey cherry how you doing good to see you here glad to see you're up to, to being around let us go on and hit play here and get into this this is i'm at coming up to the end of year two we're about to hit the new year's ceremony and that's going to be a thing And the turn of the season from winter into spring and all the new crops coming available. And we're going to start looking at horse breeding. Okay, dog. Let's get moving here. Okay, hey, we got some hay coming in. Right, hey bales. I hey, I love someone who sends me hay. Incre an incredible thing, you know, when you when you have livestock, if someone is sending you bales of hay just out of the goodness of their heart, cherish that person. They are a treasure. Okay, that's going to the collection bin. The rest of it is going to stay there for right now, and I'll come back if and when I have time to do dairy. Boy, I got I got to get stuff here dealt with. Let's make sure I've said hello to everybody, and then we'll clean up the poo. <clears throat> Okay, how are we doing here? We're at 90, maybe five. Should go cut fiber. Hey, horse. Horse, horse. Okay. Got a poo, got a horse poo. Got a potent combination here. Swing by the composter on the way. Oops. Oh, uh, I'll have to deal with her later. She's got her own stuff to deal with. Speaking of own stuff to deal with, we got a little more stuff to deal with here. Um, okay. This is why I put in a second composter. That goes in there. 
that goes in there <laughs> oh no 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 bad idea horrible horrible idea never <laughs> oh oh that would have been bad oh oh no mm. <laughs> Okay, mm. compose myself a moment. <laughs> oh, Lordy, they wanted me to. <laughs> oh, oh, that would have been bad. Okay, I'm gonna hit this and then I'm gonna go bounce over to the jungle because something tells me I need to be hitting this on a daily basis, seeing what's going on because there is shit going on. People are coming out here and, and, and doing shit. Rawls out here studying the architecture. I got crops to harvest. Holy Toledo. Uh, there's a lot going on here, guys. That is an alfalfa. You know, this is an herb. Chickens. All chickens I've already got. Okay. I need to save a little time. Get to a bin. I like how everybody's just so casual about the fact that I just am openly doing magic in front of everybody. Yeah, and, and, you know, I mean, granted, we take guidance from the spirits. Partly because the spirits show up in a fairly big way. Alright, I need to... Uh, beans. Replace beans. It's gonna be a nice... Let's, uh... Drop that in. Yeah, we've got rather a lot of dairy here already. Up with it all. I need to get back down to the lower field and harvest. That's going to take a few minutes. Let's get these cheeses turned. Get them to barrel, barrel, and Give me, uh, uh, give me two alfalfa. That ought to be interesting. Let's see if we can do alfalfa cheese. I mean, it is edible by humans. It's just not particularly nutritious for us um okay i gotta go oh god oh lord what am i what have i got myself into here all right i got broccoli i'll just i'm just gonna Run whatever I is next in sequence, and we'll see what happens. And I know I'm gonna drop a lot of shed here. Bird, bird. Hmm. 
nice. Kind of broccoli. Doing kohlrabis again. Arfing bird, come on! Give me a break here. Interesting how much of this crop is coming in at star quality. Looking at the beats. Night. Ugh. Bird. They're holding the production. Here comes another bird. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything. Got a couple things here. Stuff to drop off at the kitchen, some stuff to swap out maybe. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's all. Cheese is ready to go here.
Um, I think you should let him do it. Hi, thanks. Eat. Well, I mean, it's... Cheese me. Let's see. That's it. it. Here it is. Cheese cloth. When in doubt, cheese. I need some hardwood. Uh, I've got hardwood. Just need to get it. Get some hardwood and uh, craft. Okay. Second cheese maker going. Uh cheese, cheese. No one and two plus not max. Thank you. go. Two of those going. Alright, and we will think about the solar dryer and what to do about that and what to do with this table later on. It is 11.20 and we need to be go to bed. Here we go. Okay. This is a level of production I have not previously gotten to in this game. I've never built a second cheesemaker. 
6,000 points. Six, 6,000 points. Holy Toledo. 31 star quality beats. 1,600 right there. They, they do like beats around here. I like beets, but... And then, you know, two Ibex milk herb cheeses. Better quality. Not top, but better. And yeah, wow. 6,000 points. Whee. Oh. We have an Ibex. We have a new Ibex. Cute, some tin, nice. I need to look at animals. Brand new Ibex here is a male. If it's Gen 7, that's going to be Gen 7 M1. Let's go find out. Morning, bud. Whoops. Morning, bud. Here we go. Let's check this out. You are a Gen 8. Oh, Lordy. Gen, we have achieved a Gen 8. Gen 8 M01. Oh boy. All right. We have achieved a Gen 8. I uh, thought we'd gone as far as we could, and obviously we have not. Let us go. Say good morning to everybody, and then I need to get to the reading shed and see what we can do. <coughs> I need to review the livestock. <laughs> so I need to go do fiber. Uh, let's bring this up. Okay, what do we got going here? We've got Gen 7 FO. Happy enough to do. I need to release the two Gen 5 females. Males. Got a Gen 6 male. That everything's spinning off of right now. Let's try and get the Gen 6 and Gen 7 into here. Male parent, can I do? And it'd be ready in three days. Not enough friendship. And that's a Gen 1. Also, okay. okay. They're not ready right now. Female parent. 
step horse. Male parent, step horse. Alright, we're starting, uh, there we go, <clears throat> starting, uh, horse for, uh, breeding here, and Yeah, those two Gen 5 females need to go. Stop. Gen 7 FO. Alright. I'll take care of this in the morning. The two Gen 5 male females have to go. I've got other production. I've got to go do... I don't have time to be chasing after. Horse. Very, being very horse-like, yes. Right in the middle of whatever it is I'm trying to do. Ah. Having a horse around is kind of like having a really big toddler. Oh man, I did not unload before I came out here. There's part of my problem. Okay, the good news is I didn't have a lot I had to do. Okay, how we doing here? Got nothing. Uh, I'm going to grab that and just hook that in. Just, I think that's a good idea. There. It's some fiber spinning. Okay. to go by the house and unload. Deal with cheese and stuff later. Get that away. Okay, put that away. Sorry. Let's see. I was working out of this one. Uh, we'll grab the low crow and so that I have a food. All ready to go. All ready to go. Wowzers.
thought there might be some some drop here. Alright. Make sure. going down here I, I pulled yes I did okay hold the handle all right hold the handle deal with the cheese later I need to get to the savannah and get cracking on Okay, there we go. Full load. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I know no stamina. I'm okay with that. Went to a good cause. has gotten a little large. Uh, keep up with uh, the hay requirements during the winter is being tough.
Okay, it's that time. Hey, cut big thing today. Absolutely had to get hay cut. Got it. I need here's four milks. There's a slot. Processing work. Um, two is probably enough grass sprouts to get it going in the spring. I don't know. It's gonna take to make more plant fiber and wood. Let's just make however many I can. Craft, make six. Fun. Okay, dog. Let's see. Hmm. How'd we do? And nice. <clears throat> and the beats. People love the beats. There we go. 
Yeah, it's more comfortable. <clears throat> me. Snow days, so everybody will be indoors. Powder meal, eggplant seeds, copper, and rosemary. I'll take the rosemary. But please. Yeah, let's just offer you. There you go. Take all the rosemary. There we go. He finally had something useful. Knew it would happen sooner or later that the that Zulk would be useful. I need that rosemary. I've got a lot of cheese coming in. I got cheese coming in. The cheese going out. Let's get this cheese moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those stones rolling. <clears throat> Got your ice cream. Hey, I like ice cream. flavor do you have? I 
need to build more barrels. I'm okay, I'm overrunning the barrels. And this is going to be three mushroom cheeses, vanilla with chocolate syrup. Always a classic, always a favorite. Let's see what we got going. 205. Thank Lordy. I did I get it. I haven't been into the jungle, but I think. I'm halfway caught up. Holy crap, there was a lot of stuff to do there for a little while. Um, I still need to drop those cheeses off at a bin, and here is 29 bales of hay, getting me back up to 141. This is good. Okay. Let's see what's out here, because let's not forget, we have a new field out here that doesn't need watering, and I can put uh, perennials in and just let them go. Whoops. Hey, 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 hey. Let's uh, chill here, shall we? There we go. Okay, I got some sesame. I got some alfalfa. Don't need new bird. No, no need of new bird. Oh lordy, got enough bird already. Let's see if there's anything going on up on the pyramid. I mean, other than the magical tree that now grows up there. That's a thing. Actually, you very useful. Give me just a second to drop this, 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 and that. I can then open it up. Seeds. some work around house including spouse is working at 7-eleven now which means that it uh we occasionally have the unsold cookies from the warm cookie case showing up here because after a certain point they cannot be sold but they can be taken home so i had a salted caramel cookie oh silly person you have to ferment it first before you can turn it into vinegar I need barrels. Aha! Uh -huh. 
replace the sesame. Sesame is replaced. No, no dancing. Stop that. There, there's a men without hats song here that needs to that needs to jump in. But okay, let's see what's required. I want to build a keg. Cask takes hardwood. It's just a straight up. Hey, you need hardwood. Okay. Yeah. Much more hardwood. And let's see. Let's make cask. It's twenty hardwood. And I'm gonna make two and put them over here, here, and here. I can then take, I have one cheese in there. All right, I got two extras is what I, is an important thing here. Get a little cap uh, extra capacity now. All right, good there. Pop that back into there. That gets me a couple of, as these are going to come in early. I'm going to need more aging casks. Keep up. Goes the sesame. Hey, sesame is treated out for star coin. Still working on treating out everything. Kitchen for star quality, but it is coming I mean, a I need to get a lamp or something from uh peace. It's only eight o'clock. Peace is a party animal. Let's go see what's going on over at Reese and Ron's. Oh, lordy, yeah. two of those. Those sound nice. I think I'm, I'm reaching a point where I can finally start thinking about decorating the house. Not just, you know, being so utilitarian. Let's see. This one there? This one? Here. We are. And now we have a bit more light and a little cozier feel and we're starting to get some decor here. Uh, uh I'm going to remove that. And if I can, can I put it in the kitchen? I don't think I can. I can't generally put stuff in the kitchen. Which is unfortunate. Put it over here. Mm. 
thought they might. Last quick run here. No room in the at the cheese factory. Um hmm. Get some overflow. Got a tiny pot here, it's decoration. It can go somewhere else. I don't need to get these cheeses processing. It's eleven twenty. kind of overflow the overflow box mm. there we go Ooh. trying to get in before midnight 2200 cha winter 26 rolls to winter 27. Day here. Okay, yeah, thank you, Teddy. Love me, love my. Um.
Oops, oops, no. I just want to talk with you. Yeah, no, thank you. Okay. This game adds a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and eventually it gets to be a lot. Tef produced. Okay. Half for the, the enchanta recipe, but I think I already got it. And I have a wild mango, which is, you know, a useful thing. I can make wild mango juice out of it, and wine, and. Well, I mean, we know the process. It's, I've been going through it for a bit here. Off we go, and right now, ooh, excuse me. Oops. base some of this stuff. Let's see, what have we got here? Oh take half of these. So uh I got no empty casks. Let's go drop the Tef in the uh, collection bin here. That'll give me some space.
Ha. Edge that I'm currently pickling. Look like it. I need to pick a veg to pickle. Pick something to pickle. Pick a pick of pickled peppers. Okay, we're gonna grab nine peppers and drop one of them. The pickle pot and the vinegar in the pickle pot and the rest of the peppers stand by there we go let's get compost come on get around the tree thank you I get to the bin drop that in cheeses here that are not currently in a cask. That's okay. I got uh, need more casks. I need more hardwood. Hardwood, I must take the axe and go this direction. I Let's go. 
search for trees. There may be a little a lock on the hardwood right now. There's a bit. This actually is kind of in, uh, in character here, or kind of appropriate. Um, hobby you is a good word from CJ Cherry's uh, Foreigner series. A word meaning in season and thus appropriate. Sort of like being kosher by being in being in season. <clears throat> I'm spending a winter evening making aging casks. an awful lot of cheese aging in the main room, you know? I mean, really. Okay. I think I've got that a little more under control, maybe. Until hmm. it all rolls and at once and I find it. Okay, moving onward. 2,000 points. 2,100 points for the day. <clears throat> winter 28. Last day of, the win of winter. Last day of year 2. The clan has left early for the festival. I have to go... Talk to Jag at the hearth before sunset. Let's get moving. Okay. useful. Check on the animals. Because livestock do not know from end of year festivals. This is realistic. I'm going to ignore the fact that the fertilizer is ready. I don't have anywhere to put it right now, and I just have other things I need to deal with. I need to get this done.
Livestock do not know from weekends. They do not know daylight savings time, and they do not thumping care. Oh, do that. Uh, I want to switch actually to one that's got zero here. Because there's not going to be a replant here. This is getting here. last harvest of this year. We are getting a lot of kohlrabi. Oh boy are we getting a lot of kohlrabi. Hope you all like kohlrabi because that's what we got. Cubed and t uh, tossed with an, an equal amount of rutabaga and some balsamic vinaigrette and a little bit of this, that, and the other, and then oven roasted. Kohlrabi and rutabaga. It, it, it's... Not a combination I would have thought of, but Kevin Sonny, the uh, partner of Ursula Vernon, is a bit of a magician in the kitchen. And he produced roasted root vegetables that his kids were fighting over to get the last bit of. <clears throat> of course, you know, the kids involved have had some things have some some bearing on this. Alright, I'm going to go on and do the water, even though I'm not going to get a harvest off these. Just so that they're there, and at least, you know, you can just clear away old crops and not have to worry about having to clear the land and Get a lot of coal. I mean, thirty have been seen to, crops have been seen to, lock that in, go see Jag, night Jag, everyone's at the summit for tonight's festival, are you ready to go? Yes I am, let's close out this year. Your party joined the clan at the festival, let's make our wishes.
Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay, we've heard this story before, but we're going to hear it again. Would you like to hear the story of how the lights came to be? Yes, please. A long time ago, when there were more stars in the sky, a little girl named Darina was born without the ability to speak. Every night she asked her totem for help, but every morning she was met with the deafening silence of her own voice. When it was the night before Darina's rite of passage, she ran away, as she believed no spirit was listening to her silent pleas. Pacha appeared in the stars above Darina. The going child. Darina looked up at the mother of all, her frustration, anger, and heart as clear as new ice. Pacha felt it all. She summoned Wolf, Darina's guardian. Have you ignored this poor girl? Wolf looked offended. Of course not. Look how strong her inner fire is. It was true, Darina's trials had made her resilient, but it had also caused her to feel abandoned. Hmm. Wanting to make things right, Pacha plucked out her own voice and gave it to Darina. But Mother Wolf protested. Pacha only smiled as she was now the one who couldn't speak. Wolf turned his anger to Darina. This is your fault. Darina, for the first time, spoke. You made me think that you weren't listening. Now you dare blame me for your mistakes? Punch's eyes twinkled with pride. She knew she'd made the right decision. Wolf nodded. You've taught me a lesson, young human. I will make this right. And he did. Every New Year's Eve, Wolf transforms our wishes into fires in the night sky. That way, we all know we are heard. Whether we have a voice or not. Okay, making sure I speak with everybody. Huh. Hmm. 
Uh, the Mograni are determined to be grouchy and stern and shit. Okay. Hey, Freya Raccoon Kit. How you doing? We are at the Winter Festival. We are at the end of year two of game time and have just made so much progress. And, I mean, we've got these two sitting together at a fire and they're not grumping at each other. I mean, Zeta's grumping, but she's grumping at Vala, which is a whole other thing. That's McGrunny internal stuff, and that's their problem. Okay, it is time to, ra uh, to roll this. Let's do this. We're going to put the fire out, and we're going to push the lights. I think I can plant this tonight. I think I have to wait till morning. Yeah. Can't do the trick uh, with this one. This game that you can to Stardew Valley. Oops. Let's get this one next thing here. Zip, zip, zip. Okay. Jesus, I'll have to wait. Mm. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Okay. Seventeen seventy nine. Spring one, year three. Here we go. And our new year starts with a new baby with our very first horse. We have our very first colt in the barn. Let's go see. cheeses here we'll get more put in later on move Ooh move vinegar over to come on to the pickler and we'll get to the pickler few wow look at all the forage it's already up i just have to clear this field and get it uh, a little more tidy work on that minutes now And the new baby. 
New baby is a Gen 2 male. Rename. Gen 2-M-01. Accept. And go. season and yeah I got work. Alright, first let's get crops in the ground. Uh let's see what the well I'm doing here. Alright. Uh Get that. <laughs> Beans. Ah. Maybe the name of this horse. <laughs> ah. Move. Jeez. of a guy. It's carrots. I got carrots. Carrots.
can buy everything. Ah. All right. Okay, I'm going to put this upper field here into sesame, because that'll go spring into summer. Oh, it's tempting to do a field of wheat first. Do, do it half size. Do a bit of this and that and the other. There's tomatoes here. Let's start with tomatoes.
Okay, that's gonna thank everything planted. See what's here. Get to it for some reason. One o'clock, I need to. Brief. So this stuff. Oh, Lord. stuff out. Be up after midnight tonight. <clears throat> the game will grump at me. You should be in bed. Yeah, it's the first day of the season. Busy as hell here. Come on. It's getting late. It's the first day of the season and I'm busy as hell. Just said that. Give me those four and give me one of these. And give me one of these and come back out here. Pick a pack of old peppers. Ferment that. Cheese, 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 cheese. Be cheese. Just cheese in there. Same. Just pushing it. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, 
get to sleep before the 2 a.m. cutoff. Okay, 4,938, largely because of six high quality herb cheeses. Hmm. Whew. All right. To the grind. There was a lot of BS last night. There's still a lot of BS to be cleared. There's all BS to be cleared. I mean, we can kind of take that for granted. Okay, who do I want to put in? I want to do. Gen 7 here. Gen 6 M01. And go. Okay, start the Ibex again. at some point. Be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, what do we got going here? We got beats coming in today. Got a lot of fucking beats coming in today. I'm gonna hit the pump here. And we're gonna replant in I think. No, I'm not gonna dance. I'm gonna go here and get the wheat seed up and Let's get to work. dump these beets in I'll 
Switch to hammer for a minute here. Okay, I think, uh, oh my god, did I just finish clearing that? I think I just finished clearing that damn thing. Let's get these out. I want to put in a few more plugs of grass here because I don't think we, I think we, we need to encourage it growing in a couple of pieces here.
think a crow should do it. <laughs> Oof. several things. Expanding this would be nice. I'm not sure I can manage it, though. <clears throat> I'm, I'm reaching a point of, of being a victim of my own success. And having Increasing difficulty keeping up with the harvest. Holy cow, it's getting massive. There does not seem to be a way to automate the, the harvest. Compost. Quality compost. Quality compost. It's going up here. One on to the maters. There we go. A regular compost can go on the sesame. It's right straight across there. Stripe. Now, it's all that distributed. Huh. Okay. Um. Haven't provided any new crops yet this season. Hmm. I think Derek may be out watching the stars. He does that sometimes. Comes up with some good ideas in the process. 2106. Pepper. 
burn pickle. The burn to pickle pot. There we go. And two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises, five thousand Macedonian warriors in full battle array, six sacred brass monkeys from the ancient sealed crypt of Egypt, seven pairs of Don Alfredo's favorite tweezers, eight diabolical denizens of the deep, nine apathetic diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth, thin white whistling whales that fall and stall around the quivy of the quail at the same time. <clears throat> Exercise in cyclical memorization that I taught to my children. All three of them can probably still recite the thing without really even having to think about it. Made a great party trick. Being able to reel off that whole thing. Excuse me, I'm sorry. We are on the last game day of uh, the session. Having weathered the transition from winter into spring, and now we have spring crops growing and of happening. I need to go to the jungle today, and I need to go cut plant fiber and start stocking up the barn, hay barn. I completely forgot to do all this. This is my goodness. I just got a new recipe. Wait. God, we got eggplants. I got rather a lot of stuff here that needs to be harvested. Good news being... The collection bin is right next to the teleporter. Picking stuff up for a minute here, I can see this.
We're going to need a larger hard drive for our media server. There's only 15 gig left. Oh no. Okay, there's probably stuff I still haven't picked up. Let's run this batch. Yeah, I know how that goes. Aren't you well? At this point, I have... Let's see, is there any new food here? bring in I in that okay go back to the jungle one more time back before we moved out of the cabin a lot of stuff isn't there bunch of stuff. I um, did a project where I, I bought a couple of uh, two terabyte USB external drives and I migrated all the stuff I had on CD, on CD and DVD over to the USB drives process getting rid of two large boxes of stuff there we go I needed to trade those out oh my goodness look at the numbers oh my goodness that's gonna be a thing oh that's gonna be a thing I had to later get a third one of the uh, two terabyte drives. Fortunately, those have come down a lot in price. And at the time, I had money to be able to do things like get storage when I needed it. Uh, we are waiting for a grift from the Nazi part of the family to expire. They pulled some shit. At this point, the Jones side of the family is no longer in communication with the Harvey McPeak side. My father-in-law, who is in his 80s, see, we learned about a website that sells refurbished data center hard drives. We're planning on getting an 8 terabyte drive for less than 80 bucks to replace a similar drive in our backup flow. That drive is going to become the new media drive. Wow. That's a nice deal. Um, I, I hope that re works out for you. That That's, that's really a wow. 8 terabyte drive for less than 80 bucks sounds like wow I, I hope that works out if it works out for you I'm going to want to know about it look into it myself but buying from the evil empire I'd love to Unfortunately, between age-related bullshit and working from home, 
Um, I have become something of a shut in and um, become really seriously reliant on home delivery of um, pretty much everything. Data center drives are very hardy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've actually, uh, I haven't worked in the data center, but, um, I've worked with the data center people as a manager on the infrastructure side, and that gets to be a thing. I got one more cheese here. Cheese there, and I got cheese here. Got that, and I got that. Here is a sleigh, and that will just boom, done. Okay, let's go drop all this off. Talk with people and work on relationship stuff. Whoops. Hey, you. I mean, Living with dolphins, I was writing some short fi some fiction about that at one point uh, for uh, doing fanfic for the Blue Planet role-playing game. Um, the I don't go out much either. Yeah, it's it it's gotten to be hard. I don't have I haven't had a driver's license in in decades. Um, a lot of time it just hasn't even been necessary. I lived in San Antonio for uh, a year and lived had an apartment. Yeah. Had an uh, an apartment that was right next door to one of the transit hubs. So there, the the city has five transit hubs at uh, radial points around the city center, and the bus lines all start and end at those transit hubs. And I can't and then there are express buses that go from the transit hubs to like downtown and all the way across town to the uh, to the bar hubs and so forth so that you can skip the intervening steps if you need to pretty well designed and then I lived in New York for a while and spent some time in Singapore and Places where I didn't need a driver's license. And now my vision is so crap that I, and I can't even pass a test. So, yeah. Guess who forgot to pull the handle? Caught it just in the nick of time there. Okay. Ah, oh, what do we got going on in here? Well, what we got going on is cheese production. I mean, like I even have to ask what's going on. What's going on is cheese production and soon, hopefully, fruit production and wine production oh I have got I have got a fruit juice here that needs to go 
out here. There. I have these two cheeses to deliver to the bin. I would be more willing to go out with more masks and more seating. Yeah, that would also be a thing. I got out of New York City just like in the nick of time. Um, was um, down in Nashville when uh, the the lockdown first occur, first arose. Did not have to deal with stuff. Uh, the company I was working for reacted with a surprising any flower showed a surprising amount of uh Foresight and sent us all to remote as soon as the first hint that there was going to be a lockdown came around. Sent us all to remote saying, Look, you know, this is the, the data centers, the main data centers in this building. We're not taking a chance on the building getting quarantined. Don't know how this is going to go. No. Look. And then as things progressed, the company... Pierogies. Ooh, I love pierogies. The company execs realized that they had been using the... Uh, the HQ building basically as a glorified trophy case and could really, you know, store all their service awards and shit in their home office and so they sold the headquarters building and made a nice tidy profit um, because they were one of the first companies to sell their building there was a, a wave of that later. Market kind of crashed, but guess I want to go to sleep for the day. Yeah, they showed a um, considerable amount of foresight and um, and prudence. Okay, seventy four hundred. Uh, big ticket item being the mushroom I bex milk cheese. Everybody loves a mushroom cheese. I mean, I've had mushroom cheese. It's damn fine stuff. Mm. So. We have crossed into year three, into spring four, and things are starting to settle down, maybe. Be nice, wouldn't it? Let us go out to our main menu here because we have reached that point. It is the top of the hour. I appreciate Wisconsin for how easy it is to find good cheese here. Oh, yeah. I miss being able to go uh, get a bag of cheese curds. But then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm weird that way. So, it has been a pleasure having you here. Thank you, Prairie Raccoon Cat, for joining us. Anybody else who's out there in viewer land... Um, this has been part of a 
truck community uh, streaming schedule for our group is in the upper left of your screen there's stuff going on every night some days check the schedule out um, if you've enjoyed this episode of Roots of Pacha, previous VODs are on YouTube. There's also a lot of Minecraft stuff. Speaking of which, I will be back this coming Saturday, 8 a.m. with Minecraft Trains and Tech. Um, having hopefully solved the problem of why the game crashed when I landed on the hostile world to set up the terraformer. We're going, so all goes well, I'll be building the terraformer on the next stream. We'll see how it goes. If not, there's always Pixelmon. And then back uh, Sunday night, Sunday nights at 8.30 UTC minus 6. I'm here with Roots of Pacha for the foreseeable future. We have new content forthcoming. At the end of this month, there will be new content. And then uh, the next update will give us the Iron Age. And a whole new tech progression level. So, I'm going to be with Roots of Pacha for a while. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it. And we'll see you next week.